Hi everyone and welcome to our next tutorial on Tinkercad. In the last tutorial we looked at how to build a circuit on a breadboard with two light bulbs and also how to connect what we call a multimeter. A multimeter is a device that can do a number of things and what we looked at last time was how it can calculate voltage. Voltage is really a comparison between two points or what we call the potential difference or potential change in voltage between two points and that's what a voltmeter shows so this is the circuit that we had last time and if we start the simulator we can see that the light bulbs are turning on so we know that this is a complete circuit and since we have our voltmeter measuring across these two points here that is showing the voltage change between these two points and in fact across a light bulb which is a resistor it's a voltage drop so that's what we see in this case here now what I can do is I can measure the voltage change or potential difference between any two points so for instance if I take this here and stop the simulator and I just delete this black wire for now and if I reconnect it from here to here and let's make that black what I'm measuring is the potential difference or voltage change between these two points right here well you might know what that is but if you don't let's try to run the simulator and take a look and what we find is really that is the voltage difference if you look at it between the two light bulbs together and that equals the same voltage as what we should get on the battery so if I stop the simulator again and this time if I delete this wire here and delete this wire here and if I just measure across the voltage rail so if I measure from this point to this point I'm really measuring across each of the rails let me make those the right color just to be consistent so now if I'm measuring across the power rails then that should be what we see across the battery so if I run the simulator yes in fact that's what I do see I see the voltage coming across the battery now I'm gonna stop the simulator and I'm just gonna delete this one wire here and in fact just to make you totally see this I'm gonna delete this one too so now I have an open circuit but even though I have an open circuit, I could still possibly measure voltage somewhere. For instance, the battery is still connected on the power rails here, so I could still see the potential difference of the battery or the voltage of the battery. And if I run the simulator, in fact, I do. Now, notice that it is 9 volts, which is what we would expect, but when the circuit was connected it was slightly less than 9 volts and hopefully you wonder why why is that slightly less when it's connected in a circuit and that's because every circuit has internal resistance and because of that internal resistance it ends up slightly less than 9 but in theory we would expect that it would be 9 volts across but the simulator actually shows correctly what it would do in real life so there there's an example of how we can use a voltmeter and measure across various points in a circuit and what we should expect for voltages that's it for this tutorial take care we'll talk to you soon